Now then, how you doing? Um, this is a new one today, and we're at a old place in Home Firth where we dress new 140s. Um, so they're all cropped, and then they put on a picture machine, and then I dress round them. So I'll show you the tool that I use for doing um, new stone, which is obviously a Ryler pitching tool, but it's bigger, it's a four inch, um, because, well, that extra inch and a half really helps. They don't have saw ends on, they are rough ended, but when we get there, I'll show you. Just called up Mackie D's for a quick coffee, because it is Friday, after all, and there is a storm coming, well it's here, called Storm Babbit. What a name for a storm, yeah, Babbit. Whatever happened to just bad weather? There's no such thing as bad weather anymore. Everything's got to be labelled and named. So, I'm going to get my coffee. The time is at 6 o'clock. Because I always start early there. They open gates at quarter past 6. So, I'll be there for 6 o'clock. For 6 o'clock, I'll be there for half 6. Well, 20 past 6. Get changed, get stuck in, and you'll see some new stone. I tell you what, I'm glad I'm not out there. Bloody hell. But anyway... This is what I've been doing today. And I said I were doing 140s. Well, I were wrong. I've been doing some drafted margins. And this is something I've never done before. So it's been good to do, to be honest with you. And use some different tools. So I'll show you what I've been using and I'll also show you me working one. I haven't been able to film because the saws have been running. So the saws are very loud and couldn't hear anything so it was pointless filming but I'll show you the other as well this is the stone before it's dressed so what I'm doing is I'm taking that back so that is in line with that aris and then I'm dressing the face back so that is in line with that aris and then they run up your building that way up your building called drafted returns or drafted margins before we do one let me show you tools I've been using. I've been using a tungsten knicker, which isn't mine, it's the quarries which I'm working for. But so I've been using that to get in to the draft, as you'll see when I do one in a second. And then I've been using my three inch Ryler and also my four inch as well. And obviously I've got my gloves by scan and my safety goggles as well. So anyway, let's get one, let's get a few bashed out. So to start off, we'll get a three inch pitching tool and we'll bring that Aris into square. Then we'll bring that face back into square. Then we get his knicker to get right up to that aris, up to the margin. Leave it nice and square. The drafted margins were put on the stone after it had been cropped. It was done by using a CNC machine and they are approximately one inch from the face and then one inch from the return. The stone is 100 mil on bed, so therefore this allows extra for me to dress it back and dress it into square. Drafted margins or drafted returns or drafted corners, as they're often referred to across the trade, are commonly seen on a lot of Victorian style buildings and predominantly with the pitch face, which is the type of finish of the face you're seeing in this piece of content today. Mainly on a finish with a pitch face, because they didn't use coins on these style of buildings. Instead, they used drafted margins, and a lot of them went round your window surrounds and your doors as well. A lot of buildings in Manchester have drafted margins or drafted returns, particularly around 
Preston, Shaw, Oldham, and a lot of churches use pitch face style stone. It was given a pitch face because when it was delved out of the quarry, it didn't necessarily break flat. So it was dressed back into square, hence the term pitch face. But it's also referred to across the trade as par point or Victoria point stone. I've often heard it referred to as. So if you're driving around the stone built up area, just have a look around and see if you can spot the different styles of stone and different types of finishes and see if you can see any of these drafted corners. Because if you're from near where I'm from, there's loads in Thornhill, Ravensthorpe, Dewsbury, heading out to Wakey. Others feel it changes because that's a punch face style stone, which I've spoken about previously. So yeah, if you're heading off of that side of it, just have a look and see if you can spot them. So, same again. Start on the end. Then join them back together. Square that end up. Nick a time. Get that nice and prominent. There we go. Beautiful. That's all of the returns done for today. Hope you've enjoyed watching that. Uh, I'll show you the finished palette. So as you can see, apologies for the noise. So as you can see, they are the lovely drafted margins.